In this short video, we'll look at the dynamics of aircraft spoiler hydraulics. Uh, spoilers are pieces of equipment on the wing of the aircraft that allow the aircraft to turn left and right or move up and down. Now, this is a spoiler here. This, I think, is the wing of an A330 Airbus. Um, here, you see the hydraulic actuators. Because of the speed, the size, and the forces, it is impossible to do this uh, manually on such a large aircraft. Therefore, you have a power amplification system, which is essentially the hydraulic system. This is a schematic of what's going on. Here you have the control column, uh, the control cables. Control cables control a spool valve. The spool valve controls the direction of high pressure fluid and the low pressure fluid. The high pressure fluid and low pressure fluid drive the power cylinder. Power cylinder is connected through a, a linkage mechanism to the spoiler or elevator. And there's also a feedback path right here. This is essentially a cartoon of what we just saw. Here is your power cylinder, here is your spoiler, and this is the spool valve. Uh, PS is the high pressure uh, path uh, ps is the high pressure of the high pressure reservoir pe is the pressure of the low pressure reservoir these two reservoirs are maintained at constant pressure uh, with the hydraulic fluid pump the pressure on the high side of the piston is p1 the pressure on the low side of the piston is p2 p1 is different from ps because the fluid flows through an orifice um, now let's look at the relationship between the displacement of the cylinder and the angle of the spoiler. So this angle theta is the same as this angle theta. So we can write y equal to L sine theta. We differentiate it once. You get the speed of motion of the power cylinder, which is L cos theta theta double theta dot differentiate it again get y double dot equal to minus l sine theta theta dot squared plus l cos theta theta double dot now let's do the free body diagram of the spoiler you have the force exerted by the cylinder on the spoiler you have fa which is the disturbance force that is the air pressure force on the spoiler uh, these are the moment arms D is the distance of FA from the pivot. And this here is the distance of force F from the pivot. If you do the torque balance, you get I theta double dot equal to summation of all torques, which is FL cos theta. Now L cos theta is this distance minus FA times D. That is the torque due to this FA. This torque is in the clockwise direction, this is in the anti clockwise direction. That's why the positive and negative signs. Now we have to write an expression for F. Like so F equal to I theta double dot plus F A times D divided by L cos theta. Let's do the dynamic equations of the power cylinder. Let's assume that it has mass M. The force on the low pressure side is P2 times A. The force on the right hand side is P1 times A. Now let's assume that uh, the rod is much smaller in diameter as compared to the piston. That's why you can say this. This area is nearly equal to this area. And of course, there is a force F exerted by the spoiler on the power cylinder. We can write the dynamic equation sum of all the forces. Now this is negative because y is moving in the negative direction left side is always negative equal to f minus p1 times a it's in this direction here plus p2 times a it's in this direction remember that force a is pressure times area so we can rewrite that like so so another re relationship so we need to know what's the relationship between w1 and w2 since the fluid is incompressible w1 equal to w2 equal to the volume 
exchange rate right here. So if W1 comes in, this moves by Y. So the volume, this volume is A times Y. A times, if you differentiate that, you get A times Y dot. This multiplied by the row with the volume motion rate, which is equal to W1 because of the incompressibility. Let's look at the spool value once again. X is the input. What's the relationship between W1 and the rest here, PS and P1? W1 is a y dot rho equal to x times PS minus P1 to the power of 1 by alpha divided by r. What is this x? Now, if this valve is completely open, x equal to 1, if it is partially open like so, then W1 is this. So x is the uh, ratio of the total uh, of the open area to the total area. Rearranging, we can get p1 as p1 equal to ps minus p y dot rho r divided by x to the power of alpha. Uh, as I explained in the previous lecture, alpha is the index that determines if this uh, system is le linear, uh, laminar flow, or turbulent. Flow. R is the resistance of the orifice. You can write a similar equation for p2. And then if you subtract p1 minus p2, it's equal to ps minus pe minus 2 times py dot rho r divided by x to the power of alpha. You can write ps minus pe as delta p. This is always constant. It's a maintained constant. Now let's put all the equations together. You have the speed equation for the or mass, uh, the, the, which you call it, the power piston. You have the acceleration equation for the power piston. You have the dynamic equation of power piston. You have uh, the equation for force written in terms of uh, the rate of the, ac the angular acceleration of the spoiler. Uh, and then you have a pressure equation. If you put everything together, substitute 1, 2, 4, 5, and 3, we can write this final equation. So we'll, let's see. So we substitute this right here for P1 minus P2. Substitute for F with this, and then we substitute for Y double dot with this, and in here we substitute for Y dot with this, and then multiply throughout by L cos theta, and we should have this equation. This is a nonlinear dynamic equation, and in class we'll look at how to linearize this so that we can control it using linear control system.